Today, we're going to talk about a true titan of the skies, a fighter jet that redefined air superiority, the F-15 Eagle. But we're not stopping there. We're going to discuss how this already formidable aircraft was taken a step further with the introduction of the F-15E Strike Eagle and then place it in a what-if historical scenario using the outstanding combat flight simulator DCS World along with help from my friends over at the Grim Reapers. Hi everyone, Tog here. The F-15 Eagle, developed by McDonnell Douglas, now Boeing, is an all-weather, highly maneuverable tactical fighter designed to gain and maintain air supremacy in aerial combat. Introduced in the 1970s, the F-15 was unrivaled, boasting a kill ratio of over 100 victories to zero losses in air-to-air -air combat. The single-seat F-15C was and is an extraordinary aircraft equipped with powerful engines, advanced avionics, and state-of-the-art radar systems. But as with anything, there's always room for improvement. And so, the torch was passed to a new and even more deadly iteration of the Eagle, the two-seat F-15E, better known as the Strike Eagle. Now, you might be wondering, how could they make an already impressive fighter jet even better? Well, this was achieved by expanding the Eagle's role beyond just air superiority. Meet the F-15E Strike Eagle, a true multi-role fighter capable of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. While the F-15C was designed with a focus on dominating the skies, the F-15E Strike Eagle was built to be a master of both the sky and the ground. Introduced in the late 1980s, the Strike Eagle was designed with the goal of conducting high-speed, long-range strikes even in the face of enemy ground and air defenses. In order to perform these deep strike interdiction missions, the Strike Eagle was outfitted with additional fuel tanks for longer range, improved radar and navigation systems for targeting, and the capacity to carry an array of air-to-ground and air-to-air -air weaponry. This gave it the ability to strike enemy ground installations deep inside enemy territory, while still maintaining its air-to-air -air combat prowess. So while the F-15 was and remains an outstanding air superiority fighter, the F-15E Strike Eagle brought a new level of versatility to the F-15 line. This dual role capability ensures that it remains one of the most effective and versatile combat aircraft in the skies even today. But what if we could place the Strike Eagle in a historical situation where it was facing older aircraft yet vastly outnumbered? The talented team at Razbam Simulations has spent years developing a high fidelity model of the F-15E Strike Eagle for the world's best combat flight simulator, DCS World by Eagle Dynamics. Today, my good friends over at the Grim Reapers are going to take a single F-15E Strike Eagle and see if it can stop the entire Imperial Japanese Navy fleet that is about to attack Pearl Harbor. Over to you, Cap. Thank you, Tog, and welcome to the F-15E Strike Eagle in DCS. Today, I will be flying, and Liam will be weaponeering in the back. Hello, Liam. Hello. And the boys will be watching. Hello, boys. Morning. Hello. Hello, Hello boys. Hello. Morning. We are starting about 30 miles from the Imperial Japanese fleet. Historically, this fleet was actually split in two, separated by about 100 miles east to west. But to expedite the video, I've clumped them all into one fleet. We have the correct amount of aircraft carriers, battleships, cruisers, destroyers and supply ships. On the six carriers are the correct amount of aircraft that took part in the real raid, 353. Historically, they were Zeros, Kates and Vowels. Today, to make it as hard for us as possible, we've changed them all to Zeros, the better of the three for air-to-air. -air. All of these will take off alerted by our presence and try and shoot us down. So today we will be chased by 353 warbirds. We will be equipped today with six 2,000 pound GBU-10 laser guided bombs, each easily enough to destroy a World War II carrier. Some World War II carriers were sunk in reality just by one 500 pound non-armor piercing bomb. We also have a targeting pod with the ability to find, track and laze the targets for the bombs. We will destroy the six carriers as quickly as we possibly can before we get swarmed. 
Right, I'm going to get my screen set up as quick as I can. So, packs on my right. A teapot on my left. Head to ground, master arm. Right, Liam, can you start setting up the bombs in the packs, please? The packs is where we arm and set up the various variables for the weapons in the F-15. Lovely. Right, find those targets, Liam. Liam's now controlling the targeting pod and he's found the fleet already. Very good, that's indeed To do our bombing, I'll be flying to the suggested auto-bombing symbology on the head-up display here. You already see on the teapot aircraft taking off. Let's go and have a look at the fleet. They will be taking off at a global total of one aircraft every 15 seconds, which is what we predicted the real fleet could have done. Already about 20 or 30 aircraft up. We can see the progress on the map here. The symbology tells us two minutes and 20 seconds until release. About 30 aircraft up now. They will spiral up to about 20,000 feet where they will attack us. Now you're going to say, why don't you go above the altitude that those warbirds could fly? What about 40, 45,000 feet? The plane could do that, but unfortunately the technology of the teapot will not allow that. Maximum just over 20,000 feet for the laser that we need to mark the targets. In terms of speed, we're going faster than what a warbird can do, but we will be zigzagging over the carrier on our to and fro attacks, so those zeros will be able to get in front of us and they will be able to attack us. 40 seconds to drop. 20 seconds to drop. 15 seconds to drop. Bomb full Q dropping. Bomb away. Retrimming. Right, the bomb is now looking for the reflection of the laser from the ship, and you can see by its nose wiggling it's found it. Also, look at those little zeros taking off. Right, fingers crossed that is going to be the first ship scratched. Oh, we're going to get a guy on there as well. He's going to have a bad friggin' day. 2,000 pounds of penetrating bomb. Boom! Carrier sunk. Right, one carrier down, five to go. Uh, I need to extend a few more miles from the target, shown by that G sign there, before I make my turn. Let's have a look at the global situation. So we're now flying above probably about 50 aircraft. Next target designated. Roger. It will take those zeros four to five minutes to climb to this altitude, so we do have a bit of time. Right, I'm going to start turning to the target. Always a left turn because the t pod is uh, biased to the left. $28,000 for a bomb and $1 billion loss. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, that $1 billion loss, viewers, is uh, inflation, obviously inflation driven. So, 60 degrees off four, eight miles out. 20 degrees off four, 10. On ASL, 30 seconds to drop. Right. So far, it's going okay, viewers. 20 seconds to drop. 10 seconds to drop. Bomb full Q. In play, I'm going to try and watch this bomb separate. Up the way. Comes away. 35 seconds to impact. Retrimming. Come on, bomb. Track, track, track. Yes, we have a nose wiggle. Check my plane. All is well. Oh, that is a sexy wiggle. It is a sexy wiggle. I'm going to jiggle that butt all day. Oh, it's going to be right on his face. Ow, wee. Good work so far. Two down. Okay. Oh, and we got a, uh, a zero as well. Check on the global situation. Oh, there are a lot. Next but target designated. Roger. They're up to 14,000 feet now, viewers. 5,000 feet to go and they can start intercepting us, so got to keep our wets about us. I'm a bit slow, afterburner on. Right, I'm turning in, left turn now. Obviously, once we've taken out the carrier, no more planes can take off on that carrier, viewers. 45 degrees off four, 
10. On ASL, oh my god, there's targets in my crosshair. There are zeros co, co altitude. 25 seconds to release. Lighting the cans. 10 seconds. Bomb released. Viewers, we did have some practice with the bombs, but not with the uh, zeros. So this is all new for us. And we, we, this is not scripted. We have no idea what's going to happen. Can someone track the bomb, please? They're going to try and intercept us, but they won't because of our speed, hopefully. Here he comes. Gone on starboard. Missed. Oh, guns, guns, guns. Oh my god, we almost got smacked. This is going to be harder than I thought. Progress of bomb. Yes, brilliant. Great work. Going to cans again. We we've, we've been hit. We got hit somewhere. Are we could we still operable? Oh, there are six. Fingers crossed. Bombs are still on. Yeah, next target is designated. I'm going to have to head out a bit because they're going to catch me on the turn. What do I do? Guys, what do I do? How do I beat these guys? This, I don't know what to do at this point. Hi, yo, yo. Hi, yo, yo. Are you ready to turn in, Liam? Yep. All right, viewers, we're going to have to start going hardcore F-15. Remember, 25,000 max. 25,000 max. Well, this got exciting very quickly. Luckily, with its two Pratt & Whitney engines, this is extremely powerful aircraft view, as it should be. All right, so I'm going to dive in, and I'm going to go faster this time. Now, I know, it sounds, I know it sounds easy, viewers, just go 700 knots, but the bombs won't work if I do that. They have a kind of a speed limit in terms of the teapot's two angle. Cap in parameters. 20 seconds. I think that's not working. good. 400 knots. Five seconds. Oh my god, our nose cone's missing! Oh! Our friggin' I nose cone! Cap. It says the nose of your airplane is a radiation hazard. <laughs> oh my god, I get a shotgun! Evasive and you just. the right. I'm trying not to lose our radar lock! Uh, sorry, our um, teapot lock. I can't just go evasive use because we'll lose the teapot lock. And I can't look forward to use any bombs. Is it guiding? It's still guiding. Mm -hmm. 15 this... seconds. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We literally need you to hit. All right, steady, steady the plane, Cap. Studying. Slowing down as well. Come on, I can't oversee my angle. Which All right. We've done it, we've done it, we've done it. Cans on. Two ships to go, viewers. Let me have a look at the tactical situation. They are all over us. And they're all up to friggin' altitude and they're chasing us. Liam, are you ready for a Scandinavian flick? Of course. Let's do it. Uh, tense. Hick maneuver. Okay. Leveling out now. I'm aware it's hard for you to do your job when I'm doing these maneuvers. I've also got to stay alive. They're now above us, diving down. Ten seconds to drop if that's designated. Holding pilot. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Five seconds. Yes! Bombs away. Bomb release, right. I've got to do my job now, viewers. I've got to dodge bullets, but not lose the teapot track. Or we'll lose the bomb. Leave us alone. Leave us alone. <laughs> it's harder than it looks. Get off. We've been hit. Bombs. Bombs Ow. tracking. Oh, thank God. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Come on. Steady, she goes. Steady. Reducing speed for the angle. Come on, Three, come on, come on, two, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go defensive. Defensive. Hit. Burner on. Get the chuff out of here. Okay, no obvious major superstructure damage, so 
All right, Liam. Ooh wee. Let me check the tactical situation. It's got worse. We only have one carrier left. They are right behind us. Just you, just look at your screens, Liam. Just don't look out of the cockpit. That's my only advice. Oh my God. <laughs> right, tents, burner on. Pull. We're in full ATM, they're turning in our circle. Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. All right. On board, Liam. Do your thing. 500 knots. That's too fast to bomb. 10 seconds. Come on, come on, come on. Bomb release. The tension! Ah, my camera angles are wrong. Did it do it, did it release? Bombs away. Bombs away. Hold it steady, Cap. Right, look for threats. I'll survive for 30 more seconds. They're dropping right on us now. Cans. Burner. Burner on. 20 seconds. I should be able to think left. God, I'm, I'm, tracking. I'm not going to risk it. Come on, baby. I'm just going to sit and watch now. Hold her steady. Stand by. Yeah, we're good. Yay! We did it! First time, viewers. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! Celebrating time. Oh, we got shot again! Laboratory flares. Let's get the chuff out of here. Now, there's one thing these warbirds can't do, viewers, and that's put down uh, 60,000 thousand pounds of thrust and go straight up. Right, now that was good. That was so good, in fact, that I think we're going to do it again, viewers. And sorry, Tog, for using up your video time, but. Uh, this time, I think we're going to get everyone in an F-15, and let's see how quickly we can do that with a whole bunch, a whole squadron of F-15s. Welcome in, viewers. We now have six beautiful F-15Es. I am going to be flying solo. Then Fire is going to have Brandon as a Wizzo, Simba solo, Wombat with Liam as a Wizzo, Poosh solo, Strider solo. We've divvied up the targets, and hopefully we go for the right targets. We've deconflicted our laser PRF codes. <gasps> The chance of this working is absolutely minimal. Is anyone not ready to go? Simba, please unpause server and expect hilarity. All right, viewers. Talk about never tried before. Uh, right. Ah, that. Thanks, Boosh. It was a thing that Sorry. was always going to happen, wasn't it, guys? Um, we'll cut that out, viewers. Simba, please unpause again. <laughs> We've got a way of deconflicting and not hitting, hitting each other this time, viewers. Well, I hope we have. Okay, I'm going up. Yes, look at the boys do it right. Well done. Okay, let's try armament screen. I don't right. think that's ours, Brandon. Could be. Take a take a wide outlook again. Should be further to the right. No, this is one. Okay. We have up one, up one, up a row. I think we should be right one more row. It's up one more row for us, Liam. Right no, there. the other one has three in it. There it is, right there. Guys, how do you command a point track from the front seat? How many carriers are in that rail burn? Auto acquisition down. Cool. Roger. Point tracking, thank you, Simba. Push me fire. At four minutes out. Slow down too much. This is why you need a Wizzo, viewers. I'm trying to fly the plane and drop the friggin' bomb and operate the teapot. I am certain you're on the wrong carrier. You need to go right and towards the middle more. A little bit, and that's that center one. We are 1588, right? Yes, we're 1588. That's the two carrier formation. You need to go right. Yeah. No, we we are there. Trust me, fire. Trust me. That two carrier is ours. Right side, two carrier is ours. Make sure you're in the left one if you are. And we're struggling to get a point track. I haven't been able to get it, so I just used a manual. Scratch it. I got a point track. I just had to get close enough. 90 seconds out. Cap is ready to bomb. God, that was stressful. Right. Whoever's up in Warm columns, you're too high. Your away. Your lasers. Whoever's up in columns, you're too high. Your laser won't work. All right, sign it, Liam. Bumps away. I'm about to flight pave way. Whoever dropped your speed's probably quite high. Watch your speed. Slow down, one bet. Hard, hard. Slow down, hard. I'm dropping 10 seconds for you. One bombs away. Have 30 seconds out. Uh, Run that fire edge pickle. Is it auto laser standard, guys? I don't know what to expect. Bomb head, bomb head. Well done, you boys. I mean, laser. One flight shack. Degressing. North. Cap 10 seconds TTR. 
Are Bems boom striking fire? Uh, 460. Cap bomb away, that's, that's, yeah. I don't know, yeah, maybe. Cap, what do you want us to do now? Stand we got bomb away. Uh, just stay out oh, of people's way. Oh, somebody just hit at the wrong target. <laughs> uh, that's what I said, Brandon. Simba, do you conflict? Do the other target, do the other target. Go to the middle rear. Middle rear. Hey, gun cap, what do you need to do? Um, just stay out of people's way. Our bomb didn't sink the carrier. Do you want us to strike it again? No. No. Hit carrier down. hit me. Oh. Well, this must be mine. Oh, you're doing this really well, guys. No. Right. Um, we, we, were, we were on the right target. Guys, stop. Oh, come on. Why did it miss? Oh, no, it hit. I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh, right, two carriers remaining. All um, guys, everyone, attack at will. What was that? Right, I'm going to bring you back around to the left, give you another target. We got uh, two full health carriers and uh, two others at like 1% health. We got the back carrier. We're going for the unscathed one. With a bit of target deconfliction problems going on viewers, as happens in real life, so we're going back to mop the uh, non sunk ones up. Strider, are you going for the one on the left there? Bumps away. Okay. I'm done. I'm sorry, it's too late for me to tell. Liam, do you, any idea what one you're tracking? Because I've got nowhere. Uh, no, mine was tracking, it just it hit the no, carrier. No, no, which one are you attacking now? We hit this, oh, the, the uh, back carrier. Back right. One in the back. Five seconds. All your bombs. <laughs> Dead. It just got hit. We're done. I'm bombing one that's on fire because I don't think it's sunk. It's sinking. Yeah, I'm trying to move the pod to get the one behind it. Correct. The two carriers are on fire, still launching aircraft. Roger, I'm rebombing one. I'll set my bomb. Fire is pickle. Fire that's bomb looks like it's on the fully helped carrier. That playboy. Oh, someone's about to hit a, a new carrier. Nice work, you lot. You mastering your friggin' F-15s. F-15s just come out a few days ago, US, so it's all new to us at the moment. No, the Ice carrier's still well. up. Um, we're coming in for it. Carriers are extra tough this time around, viewers, and we don't know why. Someone's missed. Oh, someone's dropped a rudder. We're back. We're behind hey, that, behind that, behind that. There's a first one behind it. Interesting separation, viewers. Behind it, behind it. Look right, look right. Look right. Look right. Bad. I've got an even better idea. Watch this, viewers. I'll get this working. Hit. Carrier's left. Right, but use your face. No, I've got even no more carriers idea. left. I've got the air to ground gun sight in action. Two still right. alive, but it's not the health. It's fine, leave it. Or if you want to put one more on it, we can. Be advised, air threats in there as well. Most zeros are below 12,000. Yep. Right, we missed that one. We missed it. We gotta come back around. Yeah, my bomb stopped guiding after a while. I don't know why. I did wrong. All right, watch out for triple. Zero off our nose. Oh my god. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble, viewers. They're on our nose. On our six now. It's oh, okay. oh, I got pilot sniped. Oh, 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 cap did. Cap down. All carriers are up. I've got one pixel of health. That's awfully annoying. Awfully annoying and rather unlucky, one might say. One carrier oh, got left. one showing. Oh, is there? It's just one. <laughs> yeah, I see there are right. four zeros underwater. <laughs> right, someone finished the last one off then, guys. We're rolling in. Oh, they're all in there. Break right, break right. We have we got a good vector on the on the release of the carrier. One by stay straight, stay straight, yep. stay straight. Slow down, slow down. No, we couldn't drop right. It's okay. Vector. We on. have one out on it. Yeah, it's guiding. Seconds for hit. It's guiding. Here we go, viewers. Sorry, it's been ugly, but getting five planes first time on all the right targets and bear in mind the carriers are for some reason taking lots of damage. Surprisingly difficult thing to do. Well done, boys. It's going to hit. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Right. What a great day in the office, guys. You got hit by AA for that. Yes, you did. But right. I'm going to give you two minutes to dogfight. Do it. Not each other. Let's go, Wombat. Simba, bandit on your tail. Ooh, good maneuver. Simba's trying to out maneuver. Wombat, you got radar? Never going to happen, Simba. I have radar. You don't tell me how to live my life, Cap. It was free advice. It was just free advice as well. Six miles. It's I can't fine. really turn the aircraft. Yeah, that's the thing. These are giant bomb trucks, viewers. I'm never going to outmaneuver a, a warbird. But... You're in ACM mode. Prove me wrong. 
Oh, I don't ah, got one. Splash one. What did you get him with? Cannon. Nice. Get us killed, Wombat. Yep, here we go. Into the merge. With a half shot off wing. Two circle. Oh, yeah. We got some bullet holes in our wing. Well, you're That's missing right. a rear stab as well, guys. Don't forget that. That will hinder your progress uh, slightly. It, it'll buff out. Huh. Apparently it'll buff out. Like, oh, Simba, you guys lost the left elevator. My oh, bad. Stop trying to dogfight. You're gonna kill us. All I right, say we would come back home. You now have permission to put your afterburners on and get the chuff out of there, guys. My oh, bad. I have a family. Yeah. No! Oh! Rescue. Wombat, talk us through it. What happened? He, well, uh, he disobeyed AA. my orders. Yeah, uh, the AA. What about Liam's group family? Group Liam's yeah. family. Uh, All well, right. You're going to have to find it. me in the middle of the ocean. All right. Yeah. He's not dead yet. Yes, he we is. Regret to me that the pilot there's, was stupid. <laughs> there's tiger sharks all over this area. Guys, um, I bet I'm going to die. We've finally done the challenge of beating the Imperial Japanese fleet. Well done. I hope you enjoyed that. And bye bye.